All right. Yeah. Um, if you're not doing anything tonight, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern, I'm on deck for members webinar. So that's uh, tonight, uh, Tuesday, August 16th. If you're not doing anything. Okay. Um, so, you know, one of the biggest things, I guess, uh, Walmart is out. Walmart is doing pretty good here. Walmart, uh, that's uh, that that can right now. I think this can only be good for the market. Uh, Home Depot is kind of hanging in there, certainly not falling apart. Um, so, I, I think this wall of worry just and I'm and I'm getting worried. It's working. <laughs> it's working. Um, the wall of worry. Um, but the wall of worry is still climbing. The bulls are still very much in charge. Price is definitely above the T-line. T-line is above the trend indicator. And the trend indicator is now above the dotted deuce here. Oh, I need I need to check something because I, yeah. Yeah, just so everybody knows, my TC2000 is not yet working. Uh, so I'm I'm on the web version. It's a little bit different. Um, not sure you'll notice a difference, but I sure do. Uh, but it's better than nothing. It works, so I'm going to smile. I'm going to have a good day because I have internet. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, I think the bulls are still there. I think everything is still working. Uh, our fear now is simply we get a little bit too overbought and the market pulls back a little bit. And... As far as a pullback goes, until we break below the T line, I am, I'm a, I'm a bear, a bull. <laughs> Hope I didn't ruin that. So, let's just say for fun, maybe I, I don't, it might happen. I mean, it could happen today, I guess. Let's say for fun, this is how today ended up. Well, I'm still not going to be bearish. Now I got to tell you, I'm going to put the brakes on like nobody's business. I will do that. I'm not going to be bearish because we have not broken below the T-line. Also, we do not have follow-through to the downside. So, while, while I will definitely hit the brakes, there'll be skid marks like crazy. I'm not going to chase a bunch of shorts, maybe. I could see maybe some spy puts, possibly something like that, Q puts. That's a possibility. But I'm not going to jump into a bunch of shorts on something that is not confirmed. Right now, the only thing that's confirming are the bulls are winning. And I think that's where I'm going to stay until that changes. Now, we're about to approach, well, I guess we've already approached, the 200 period moving average right here. There's no doubt in my mind that we're going to have a little bit of a hiccup through here. Um, down here is the dotted deuce right there. And this is, um, it, it's related to the 200 period moving average. Uh, it's just simply the front weighted and it's measured on the lows. And look at the hiccup it had right here. Perfectly normal. We expect this. So anyway, there's my outlook for the market. That's the way I plan to look at the market. With that said, let's take a look at ACAD. I, I like this ACAD here. I like this a lot. Um, I'm possibility of 21 bucks up here. Uh, right now I've got an entry area, uh, of about this, whatever this is, let's do this, uh, say above 1645, um, below 1750. I like that. And even a breakout of that 1750, that would not be, that wouldn't be anything wrong there with that. Um. So if we were to even pay the high number here, uh, uh, you know, above that red line or at that red line, that's six and a half percent. That still gives us in that 20 percent range uh, up to this area here. So I like ACAT. Uh, EQT. We should keep our eyes on some energy, FYI. Um, energy appears to be kind of waking up again. So maybe we should uh, keep our eyes on it. And uh, I've got it. A, a scan here, just some energy. So we'll, I'll make sure that I keep an eye on that. So anyway, EQT here, we've crossed the 50 period moving average. We've pulled back and tested with total success. And here we are trying to move up again. See, we've got this low 
high, high or low. We're right here in the buy box right now. I'm looking at 29% from this very low up to this high. Um, there's definitely, definitely going to be issues along the way. There always is. You know, this little area right here, right where we're at now, issue. This top, issue. We know this. Now, once we get our trade plan in, it's managing your trade is what it is. DXCM is also setting up. What a beautiful trend. Very beautiful trend. We're over the 50 period moving average. We, we can't hear my little, my, I have a little grand, I have a little grandson here. <laughs> Hi, buddy. <laughs> he, um, we rallied right up to the dotted deuce here. Uh, failed. I, I, I'm more surprised when we blow through it, blow through any major moving average. And this is one of the major moving averages for me, not probably for the world, but it is for me. Um, if we blow right through that, I'm surprised. I'm like, wow, what happened there? That's not supposed to happen because it usually fails. And then we come back. If this is truly going to be bullish, it will establish itself again and then go for it again. Well, here we are uh, going for it again. Makes for the buy area, target area, 23, 24%, 20% maybe, because we're measuring from these lows down here. FCX is another nice trade setting up, it looks like. Uh, here we came up to a major moving average, the 50 period moving average. We failed right on cue. Here we've pulled back, and now we're starting to move up. Now, notice prices here. The buy box is up here. That's the way I set the trade up. May not be for everybody else. Somebody else might be buying like crazy people in here. That's okay. I might be buying like a crazy person up here, but I'm going to wait till it gets up here. I'm not going to rush in. I figure there's some good targets along the way, like 34 and change, 38 and change. You've got the whole 200 deuce, dotted deuce here, and then you've got this 43 area. So there's plenty room for me to make money. I just think that my starting line I would like inside this area, basically above the 50 period moving average. Um, XLE, like I said, energy, we, we, we might want to start watching some energy. Uh, XLE is setting up. I'm looking for 87, 15% move, what I consider the buy box or buy area right here. Oxy, good old Oxy. You know, you have to put Oxy up there now um, just because Mr. Buffett has it. Uh, so, and we're going to do that. You know, if that's where the news wants to go, that's where the news wants to go. Uh, so here we've got this low, this high, this high or low, above the 50 period moving average. You can see us arguing with these tops. Remember yesterday, we talked about this a little bit yesterday. Um, at some point, I know yesterday, and we, we talk about all the time, where there's resistance, that's targets. Where there's targets, that's resistance. And look what happened. Right to it, we went just like, just like it was a song. Happened so many times. Now we just learn, have to learn to take advantage of that little piece of information. Here we pull back. And now we might be ready to break through that area. So I'm going to watch for a buy in here or a breakout. Big target up here at these highs. And it could certainly go higher. We'll just, we'll just climb this mountain one rock at a time, though. Um, how about some Tesla? Take a look at Tesla here. Look at the cup and handle on Tesla. Man, oh man, oh man. Here's the cup. Uh, that's setting up really, really nice. Nice little buy area. Almost a 19% move up here to 1076-ish up into there. Tesla can go higher. I'm just putting targets as we uh, uh, near future swing trade type type targets up here. Uh, but Tesla's looking good. Uh, CBX, another one of those energies. You should need to keep an eye on this. Now, you can see this popped up here pre-market. It's back down. I'm not too concerned about that. As long as we are staying in this area, I'm going to look for a buy. 
I would not be opposed of a breakout. First target I see up here is about 173.85. It just jumps into this area up here. And then, of course, if that's successful, we can worry about the, the high up here. I do want to just, let's just put the brakes on for a second here, okay? Uh, be very careful with this market. Uh, I, it's, it's the wall of worry, and it's, uh, um, it is causing worry. But the bulls are still in control. So I'm not in the business of picking tops. I don't think we're at a top yet because I don't see a top yet. Are we getting a little overbought? Yes, we are. Which means it could be just a simple little pullback, you know, a, uh, a Fibonacci pullback, 23.6, 38, somewhere around there, you know. That, that would be a perfectly normal, healthy pullback setting us up to move higher so uh, just trade smart anyway i just felt the need to say that okay i've got wells fargo bank of america and c on here i'm not going to talk about all three i'm just going to talk about wells fargo we set the buy box up down here we set the buy box here it's working it is working so it's really simple now um to redo this, uh, just move the plan up. There we are, just like that. Just like that. Now, the targets, 9.5% uh, up here, that's kind of, that's gotten smaller. There's no problem because when, when, I'm, when I'm setting up a trade, I'm not looking for some grand slam. I'm, it's not the trader I am. I'm not going to you know, look at Wells Fargo and, hey, the Grand Slam is a 1,000% above. It's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. I'm going to take swing trades. Well, as we move up, we can adjust our swing trades to higher. So why not do that? That's where it's headed. I mean, that's where the, that's where the trend looks like it's going. It's not going down. So now we just put 16% on the table. It's just a matter of managing, managing. A uh, Gilead needs to be one looked at. Yesterday, massive bullish gap to the upside over the 200 period moving average and the 500 period moving average. I will would like to point out that right there is the 1,000 period moving average. Here we are in the buy box. I'm looking for 10% up to 71 up here. And... Um, yeah, let's look at MJ. Look at MJ. So let's keep an eye on the pot stocks. Uh, pot stocks are need need to be looked at. Uh, I just picked the MJ. It just kind of covers a lot of them. There's Telray, CGC. There, there's there's others. Uh, but pot stocks are now crossing the 50 period moving average, or maybe maybe hovering under it, or maybe there's some are you know others. It's up a little bit more. Let's keep an eye. There's a nice little trade plan for you. Pretty easy. Okay, let's call that a day here this morning. Um, and just FYI, I will be late getting here for the open. Uh, I will be late uh, 15, 20 minutes, 10 to 20 minutes, somewhere in the middle there. Uh, but I'll be here, okay? Everyone, thank you so very much uh, for being here in the trading rooms, uh, Hit Run Candlesticks, the free trading room, and Right Way Options. We absolutely uh, welcome you. Uh, appreciate it. Thanks for all the feedback that we get, too. All right, you guys take care. Have a great day, and we'll see you again. I'll be a little late for the open, okay? Thanks a bunch, everyone. Bye-bye.